<laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to be shameless. I'm going to be shameless, man. I'm going to be shameless. What did I tell you about Nicholas Jackson? Back my boy, Nicholas Jackson. Raheem Sterling played well as well. Spurs, Spurs, thank you. Thank you for self-destructing. Thank you. I love it. You absolutely imploded. And this is what I needed from you guys, man. All the talk, all the hype, all the stuff that you guys have been saying. Every single one of you Spurs fans, it absolutely blew up on your face. Let's go! All right, all right, all right. Here we go back again on the other side of the coin. All right, welcome back to the other side of the coin, ladies and gentlemen. Tottenham 1, Chelsea 4. This is your match reaction. Look, I'm going to be shameless. I know a lot of people out there will be saying, Miz, we did not play well. Don't be so happy. But ladies and gentlemen, 4-1, man. We beat them 4-1. Of course, of course. Look, when we were one man up, it kind of looked like at times they had a man advantage. We did not, we did not play well enough with one man advantage. And then when there were two men down as well, there were certain times where they were just so resolute in defense. They had a good plan. They had a good tactic. We seemed a bit naive with our passing. We, were, we didn't have that precision with our passing. We didn't have that clinicality. Obviously, our finishing was awful. We, there is so much that we need to improve. There is so much. 11 v 11, it, it definitely looked like Spurs were on top of us. Obviously, they get that early goal. I have to say, look, Leave Akowa, too much respect being shown to Kulisevsky, my man. You were just backing off and backing off, man. There's no need for that. You needed to go out there and, and be a little bit more closer to Kulisevsky. Eventually enough, Kulisevsky releases that shot and gets that gets a deflected goal. And after that, it looked like Spurs probably could have got another goal. Um, but as I said, Spurs, Spurs, I think this particular moment, this particular situation got the better of them. The stadium, their fans, the fact that they were top of the table, you know, Pochettino coming back at at, at Tottenham, um, all the all the hype from the fans. Do you know what I mean? Like it, it just probably just got to them. And Romero, Chris, you know, Christian Romero, he's he's always he's always culpable, isn't he? Like he's always got that moment where he can be a bit too aggressive. That was a red card. And do you know what? Even before that, Odugi, Odugi with that with that two footed tackle. That probably would have been should have been a red card as well. I know he didn't connect, but the intent, you get punished for the intent as well. The intent was there with a two-footed tackle. And now Odegi, obviously, in the second half, gets himself that second yellow card and gets red carded. None of the issues that, that Spurs faced was controversial. None of them. None of them was controversial. And, and rightly, they've been both red carded. Christian Romero definitely was a red card. And Odegi's second one was definitely a yellow card. You know, Sterling, if anything, should have found that pass. That was 3v2. This is where Sterling kind of annoys me. But look, Sterling, Sterling, um, Sterling was Sterling was good enough to get an assist for Nicholas Jackson's goal. Nicholas Jackson gets three hat trick for Nicholas Jackson. I hope he gets a lot of confidence. Look, I know a lot of people will say they're all tap-ins. You know, he didn't do anything. In fact, in the first half, Nicholas Jackson, when he was playing, he got an opportunity uh, to level things up. Not only he didn't score, he probably even had an opportunity to pass it to, you know, Conor Gallagher, and and he didn't do that. So look, overall, we can only do what we've been presented with. You know, Spurs had two men down, and and ultimately we got the right result of four one. I think even at even at two one, when we finally got that, you know, that second goal, two men down, and I knew, I knew I, there was still thirty minutes to go when they had two men down. I just knew that there was just going to be too much space, too much, too many chances, and eventually we're going to score. And look, eventually we got those four goals. But of course, of course, this is not going to be the same scenario against Man City. Against Man City, we have to we have to rethink. We have to calculate exactly how we want to play, because eleven v eleven against Spurs, I don't think we were up for it. I don't think we were up to their standards. So we have to go back to the drawing board, create momentum, good victory. All we can do is, is be happy with the three points. I know a lot of people are not. It, it's strange. At 1-1, one, one, people are not happy. At 4-1, people are not happy. There has to be a moment where you need to be happy. Then you need to be happy. 
I don't want to sit here and complain, complain, complain. We ended up winning 4-1. For me, the three points was the most important. This is what I've been saying all along for the past few streams, last few videos. All I've been saying, three points. I'm demanding three points. Must win. Beautiful, beautiful, inflicting Spurs' first loss of the season in the Premier League. I love it. This is what we need. We need the team to rise to these sort of occasions. I know today, fortuitous, fortuitous with the with the two red cards, but there were clear red cards. There were so many goals that we got through offsides as well. Had we just been better with our with our timing of our run. We could have scored more. I know you can say Eric Dyer almost scored the equalizer for them. It was offside. Yeah, poor defending. Poor defending. I'm not going to lie. Poor defending again. How's Eric Dyer? Two men down, Spurs. Eric Dyer on the far post is open by himself. These are the things Man City won't be naive like Spurs. Spurs today was definitely naive, man. The emotions got the better of them. Honestly, they look. Tactically, I was very, very impressed by the way Ange set up after they were two men down. High line, compact, because they knew sitting back deep, we were going to just open them up and we're going to score. So they wanted to keep the match as high as possible and invite us to play the ball over the top. And then their sweeper keeper will come in and try and mop things up or they'll back themselves at 1v1 situation. So those are the areas we definitely should be doing better. But three points nonetheless. Very important three points. Good confidence booster for Nicholas Jackson. Hopefully, hopefully he can take this and now start putting away some real goals. Today, obviously, there were some tapping goals. No doubts about that. But hopefully down the track, he can put away some proper, proper goals when, when you know, when, when, when it's absolutely crunch time, clutch moments. But yeah, like people coming off the bench as well. Mudrik, um, you know, I don't think he was good when he came off the bench. Some of the touches, some of the passing was poor. Enzo Fernandez was poor as well in midfield, in my opinion. In the second half, there was a moment where Enzo Fernandez almost gave away the ball. He was under pressure. He coughed up the ball, and it, it could have been a goal. Caicedo first half, I don't think was that great. Gallagher overall, there was poor passing all over. Even Cole Palmer, to a certain degree, probably wasn't that great. Lewa Cowell lost his head in the first half. I think rightly so, was substituted off beginning of the second half. Kukurea came in. Kukurea had an opportunity to score as well, maybe even an opportunity to square the ball for Sterling. So, yeah, definitely lots of room for improvement, but I'm, 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 I'm glad. I'm glad and I'm happy to take the three points, um, especially against Spurs, and I'm so, so happy that they absolutely imploded. They absolutely blew up. I'm so glad. So happy. And we moved. We absolutely moved. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people that, that are hoping, you know, oh, Ms., you know, this is not a good result. We didn't play well. 100% we didn't play well enough. But I'm happy with the four points. Absolutely happy and excited. Ecstatic about Nicholas Jackson getting the hat trick. As I said, hopefully this is a kick up for him and a morale booster for him. And we can start seeing him now producing so the goods later on. So glad, glad for the team. And I'm pretty sure Maurizio Pochettino, all the all the words, all the conversations, all the quotes prior to the match. I hope you can enjoy this victory. And I'm pretty sure the Chelsea fans will definitely enjoy the fact that we've beaten Spurs. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Smash up the like button. And if you're here for the first time, subscribe. Hit the notification to stay in touch with all my content. Until next time, see ya.